Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're, we are reviewing the Aper Cordless Robotic Pool Cleaner. This is the Aper Scuba SE model. Just got this off Amazon. If you're interested in checking it out, after, I, after you watch this review, I'll put a link down below where you can buy one. Let's uh, go ahead and get this thing opened up here. I have a small 16 and a half by nine above ground Intex pool. I'll show it to you guys here in a second once we get this thing charged up. And I'm tired of having to get in it and uh, vacuum it out. I have like a handheld vacuum right now made by Ryobi. So I'm hoping this one will take a little bit of work off my plate. Let me get you guys a little further back here. So it comes with some nice kind of little instructions here, it looks like. A lot of thought went into packaging up the instructions. This nice little envelope there. Some tips on what to do. Let's pull it out. Okay, so here's the model. I bet you this is there's the retrieval hook, the charger, and two extra brushes on the bottom. Comes fairly well packaged. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Looking at the pictures, so there's the unit itself there. I paid 125 for this after you know, there was like a coupon and a 10% discount on Amazon. And then with shipping and taxes, 125. So I bought this one because it had two ports and the, you can attach brushes there. So there's like one model that's cheaper. There's like a $75 model, but it only had one port and didn't have like a brush that would help pick up debris off the bottom. So I got this one, also Aper, or I think that's how you say A-I-P-E-R. They have their own website. It just seemed like a nicer company than the other companies selling these robot vacuums on Amazon. And so far I'm impressed with the packaging. This thing feels nice. This is how you open it up. Looks like it's ready to go. Fairly high quality plastic. So I think this, basically this is like the cheapest vacuum on Amazon that looked like worth, like it was worth getting. Around that, in that 75 to 125 deal. Usually I think the MSRP on this is 150, so 125 isn't a bad deal. And again, I'll put a link down below where you can buy one. See what's in our content box here. This is the retrieval hook you use to get it out of the water after the battery dies. So you can get a pole, attach it to this. Here's the charger. Here's one of the, the two brushes. Let's see how hard it is to put the brushes on. Pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna charge this guy up and then we'll put it in the pool and I'll show you a video of it cleaning my pool. All right, so the Aper is charging. Here's the charger up here. When that light turns green, that means it's fully charged. When it's red, it means it's still charging. So I'll let it charge up a little bit more and then I'll show you guys it working in the pool. guys so this that was the first time of me using this robot vacuum in my pool I learned a few things 
I don't think I had it fully charged. I thought I had it charged up at least enough, but I don't think you want to use it unless the light is green and then you unplug it and then you put it in the pool right away. And then when I was taking it out, I didn't use the hook that came with it. So I ended up flipping it over and dragging it along the bottom with just a regular pole. And that scratched up the top a good amount. So use the hook guys, that's the way to go. And then when I was taking it out, a lot of stuff did dump out the bottom because you tilt it up and it comes out kind of this way. So there's two flaps on the bottom. One of them has a cover on it. I think that's the one you want to have toward the bottom. So when you pull it out, stuff just doesn't dump out the bottom. I don't think it actually came that way because I don't remember switching it around. So I'm going to, but it fits on perfectly with this cover, the covered outlet facing downwards. So make sure you have that so stuff doesn't dump out the bottom. I'm going to run it a second time and see how it works. It says you have to use it in an absolutely flat pool. My pool does have kind of a depression on one of the ends and that didn't seem to bother it too much. So let's go put it. Alright guys, so I was wrong. This little depression on the end of my pool here is too much for the vacuum. It gets stuck there. I thought it was just the battery running out last time. But it's still working. You can see the flaps moving up and down. But it's just stuck. Oh, there it goes a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think I need to get a different vacuum. If, this, if I didn't have this little depression, this one would work pretty well. So I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in buying one off Amazon. If you want to see which vacuum I try out next, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all next time. Another update guys, it did make its way out from this corner. It took out my dog ramp. I think it was getting caught up on that a little bit. It did get caught up a little bit behind the ladder as well. So I'm still on the fence as to how well if I should keep this or not or try another one. But again, I think it's you know, for 100 bucks, 120 bucks, it's worth it. I'll put a link down below. If you guys got any questions, put them in the comments as well. I'll catch y'all next time.